What's up guys, Adam Middlesworth here and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an Instagram and Facebook slideshow so that you can both have uh, placements being on Instagram and Facebook stories as well as Facebook and Instagram newsfeed. This is kind of a new strategy that we're using in 2019 that is doing really well for our real estate agents and mortgage loan officers. So I'm just going to go and create the ad and show you exactly how to create the slideshow and where to put the placements, right? So uh, what I'm gonna do here is choose create new campaign. Uh, I'm just gonna choose lead gen just for the heck of it. Uh, and we're just gonna click continue because we're just gonna go straight to the placements here. So uh, if you scroll all the way down, what you'll see is automatic placements recommended. What we want to do is click on edit placements because we want the Facebook newsfeed, the Instagram newsfeed, the Facebook story feature, and the Instagram story feature. So we're just going to place it in those four places. So you'll see Facebook feed, we want that checked. Instant articles, we'll uncheck. Marketplace, we'll uncheck. And then we'll keep Instagram feed and Instagram stories. And then from here, we'll click on continue. And all I'm going to do for right now is just show you how to create the uh, slideshow feature of, um, of the format here. So instead of doing an image or a video or carousels, which is essentially a slide through, uh, this is a slideshow, just kind of like a PowerPoint. They have cool transitions. You can add wording. Um, and so that's what we're going to use here. So we're going to click on slideshow. And from here, we're going to click on create slideshow. And the one that I use the most is this one. Um, it doesn't really have a name, uh, but we're going to use this one because uh, I think it has the best transitions. You can kind of see what those transitions look like. You can see um, what the copy would look like, right? Obviously, we, we don't want anything similar to this, so we're going to click on Continue. And then from here, for each slide, you can see we're going to choose an image. The first and the last slide is the exact same. So what I like to do is have um, the most engaging image or the um, highest quality image in real estate. That's oftentimes the front of the home. Uh, the front of the home or if the outside isn't aesthetically pleasing, if it doesn't have great curb appeal, then you want to choose something that does, right? So if it has a really good view of the city or if it has water view, or if it has mountain view, you wanna choose that, right? It has a really beautiful kitchen, you wanna choose that. So you kinda of get the idea there. Uh, so we're gonna select the image, and um, for this, I kinda of wanna go through what a listing would look like. So uh, if you've got a homes list, you can choose a, a lot of different types of homes, uh, but for this, we're gonna choose upload, and we're going to go and choose some of these that I just downloaded. So let's go and use um, this one. So let's do front, we'll use that. And I'm gonna go and upload all of them right now. So I'm gonna choose all of these images one by one. So we're gonna choose back patio, let that upload. We're going to go and choose uh, the bedroom, choose that. Now we're gonna go and choose the kitchen. And then we're going to go and use the living room probably, living. Uh, and again, in this first slide, you'll select the image that you want to use. So we're going to use the front of the home, see what that looks like. You don't want this image here. You can have a logo if you want. Like if you have your real estate logo that looks okay right here, you can. I'd recommend not doing that and just keeping it like this. And then to edit the, the wording here, you would just go down and say, you know, beautiful home in, in your area, right? So I'd say beautiful home in Frisco, Texas. Go and choose the background. I like to use red because it's popping. So go and choose that, choose that, click confirm, and you can see what that first uh, slide looks like. And then from here, go to the second, undo this image, and then go select the image that's the actual background. And really from here, you want to use um, features of the home. So I would use the kitchen because that's what a lot of people use. If it's not a very pretty kitchen, then you wouldn't necessarily use that. And then choose the background. You can choose different uh, different colors here. I like to just choose red. And then you can say, you know, beautiful kitchen with island or you know, um, newly renovated, um, newly redone kitchen. Uh, you do have a, a 
you don't have all of the words that you want to use, right? So you have a limit, I believe it's like 25, it's 30. So you got 30 um, spaces to use, right? So 30 characters. Um, so you can kind of use whatever, right? So kitchen, updated kitchen with granite, right? Um, on, you can see what that looks like here. You go to option three, the uh, third slide and choose that image. Go choose the next one. So I would probably do the living room. Um, and then from here, you just, you know your your homes and your listings better than anybody else. So you can say, um, open living room with fireplace. See if that works. So that doesn't work. So you just say open living room um, with natural lighting or whatever you want to do, right? So um, I'm not going to go super in depth on the copy, but you kind of get the, the gist there, right? So on the fourth one, you would unselect the logo, go to select the image. And then you would go and select uh, the bedroom, right? So you would choose the bedroom. Um, beautiful master suite, or great. There's a huge master suite. Choose the background, choose that, boom, boom, confirm. And then from here, your last would be the back patio. So we're gonna choose that, uh, back patio. Uh, large outdoor space, large uh, backyard with patio. See if that fit. And then you go choose the color, red, red, boom. And then from here, you can see what this looks like. You can go through, you actually need this one, right? So what I would do is uh, choose the background image, red, red, and then say uh, tap, learn more, more details. To learn more for info, or let's see if more info works. Tap learn more for more info, right? Uh, and that's what that looked like. And then you can run through the whole slideshow. So this would look on um, this would be on the Facebook and Instagram newsfeed. This would be on the Instagram and Facebook story. It really looks good on all of them. Um, and I'll show you why in a second. I'll just do a quick copy, right? So I'll just do featured listing in Frisco, blah, blah, blah. Just so that you can get an idea of what these look like in each of the platforms and the placements. So once this loads, I'm gonna show you what it looks like on Facebook newsfeed, what it looks like on Instagram newsfeed, what it looks like on Instagram stories, and what it looks like on the Facebook stories. Just letting this load here. Uh, if you guys have any questions about uh, Facebook advertising for real estate or mortgage, make sure that you guys comment uh, in, in all of these videos, right? If you guys have questions, I'm doing all of this for you. Um, and I'm pretty much giving you a lot of our best content. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And this finally loaded for us so you can see what this looks like. So this would be on the mobile Facebook newsfeed, what that would look like, right? So you can see, um, let's actually give it a headline, right? So uh, new listing in Frisco, uh, we would do learn more just so that you can see, kind of get an idea. You do feature one, feature two, feature three. I know that's misspelled, but I just want to give you guys an idea, right? So this is the Facebook newsfeed. You would go in and do desktop newsfeed. That's what that looks like. It looks a little bit bigger, right? Uh, and then the Facebook stories feature, what that looks like. What's cool is this looks kind of it looks pretty good in the, in the Facebook stories and you can see the initial copy so that if they click on more, it gives them all of the copy. And it's, the, you know, you've got a call to action button here. And then this looks similar in the Instagram stories feature as well. So the, um, it's a pretty, like if they're just swiping through, it'll kind of grab their attention, right? And they can see the initial copy that we have. And then in the Instagram newsfeed, similar thing, right? So it's a one-to-one, -one, so it looks uh, organic to the Instagram newsfeed. All right, guys, so that is how you can create a 
slideshow for Instagram and Facebook stories. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos, guys. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.